following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. They call him the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Roderick Strong. Somehow, Michael, he seemingly comes up with a new backbreaker every time we see him. from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 220 pounds, Matt Rip L. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, oh. and an insatiable appetite to be number one. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Byron, when someone goes up against a guy with a monitor of the Messiah of the Backbreaker, doesn't it go without saying that that is the one move to look out for? Well, the problem with Roger Strong is he doesn't just perform a traditional backbreaker. He continues to innovate the move, so he can hit the move in almost any situation. Oh, going right after the neck. Cole, you ask, why doesn't Roderick Strong's opponent just defend against the backbreaker? Look, I don't know how many flavors of ice cream exist, but however many there are, it's half as many as the number of backbreakers that Roderick Strong knows. Cole, you echo my thoughts exactly. Roddy is very gifted with about half a million different versions of the backbreaker in his arsenal. Good luck stopping all of them. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Got the shoulders down. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too yeah. soon. Strike. Really working over the body. Oh, nasty impact. Forearms for the second rope. Driving down.
Looks like he's starting to sweat now. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to work. Here he's got we go. Strong gets the shoulder up. It's going to take more than that. What a stop. Good grief. It took Roderick Strong over a decade in sports entertainment to get to NXT. He used to fight so hard for every opportunity and never take shortcuts. That is until he aligned himself in the Undisputed Era. Yeah, that is what is perplexing to me, Michael. For so many years, Roderick Strong did things the right way, but he suddenly had a change of heart when he affiliated himself with the Kings of Shortcuts. Byron, shoelaces are perplexing to you. I recognize that you were perplexed, Byron, by Roderick Strong's sudden affiliation with the Undisputed Era. But Strong was a superstar who always only sniffed great success before joining Cole, O'Reilly, and Fish. Look, Roddy must have got tired of being second best. Tired of always playing from behind the eight ball. For years, it may have been Roddy versus the world. But now, with the Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong is just evening up the odds, man. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. He's making a statement here with this attack. Early to back suplex coming. No, early to back face buster. Incredible. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. This could be it! Oh, good night! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The shoulders are down. Strong has done it! I didn't think he could! These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. He ain't playing here. Oh, I can't believe this. Check him out here. And this is how he ended it. Entertaining display tonight for Strong. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And that'll do it here for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed it.